Okay, so this is a freshly created WordPress site, and uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a few things. So first we're going to make uh, a post. So we're actually doing the exact same thing we did with the Google Sites. The point is to, to understand like how it's done in different systems. Oh, just a second here. Today we did dot dot dot. I'm going to publish that. And we're going to be talking about this next week, exactly what's going on. So we go back here to posts. We want to talk about the difference between a post and a page. And Anyway, so for this one, go ahead and just follow exactly what I'm doing. Once again, we're, we're really just setting up a wireframe. I'm going to delete this first entry. Like, they just automatically put that in when you start, which is cool, but uh, <clears throat> I don't think we want it. So I'm going to say add new post. And say September 2nd. Today we did dot, dot, dot. Publish that one. <clears throat> and the final one, go back to post. And we'll click that now. If, if you're actually watching, there's multiple ways. I could new post, or I can go post. Like, there's multiple ways you can get to new post. But uh, I'm just kind of doing it this way. Okay, good. And yeah, publish that. So now we're going to do some pages. And uh, we'll be talking a little bit about what's the difference between a page, what's the difference between a post, when might you want to use one in an educational setting. Uh, we'll be talking about that more next week. Uh, so we're just going to trash the one they created just initially, an about page. And we're going to make our own pages. So I'm going to say add new. Don't uh, want to do that. So then spell everything right. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll publish that one. Let's see what else do we have. We had a uh, sold this page, and we had one that's kind of like the overview for the lessons. Lessons. For each lesson, do the following. <clears throat> now you notice that we're not putting in a parent, and uh, you know, for these next ones, we're actually going to have the lessons, so we're going to make the parent be the lessons. So we're kind of creating this hier hierarchical um, structure. Okay, so I just saved that anyway. So it's published. We're going to add a new one. And call this one lesson one. Um, now on this one, I want you to notice that we're going to put the parent as lessons. So that way it will know that lesson one goes under our lessons page. Okay, page published. So let's go ahead and make a new one. Lesson two, uh, content of lesson. I mean, not me in particular here. We'll make it the parent lessons again. Okay, so that's been published. So let's make our final lesson. Lesson three, content of lesson. And once again, we're going to put that as a child of lesson. So you can kind of see that we're creating a hierarchy here. I'll publish that one. OK, so now we're actually going to go to the site. So let's see what it's looking like here. And so you can see here that uh, now with this particular template, I have other templates look a little bit different. Like it shows the pages up here. So if I hover over lessons, if 
I click on less and it'll take me to the lesson page and I hover over it and I can see all the the, the children is what they call them of lesson and go to the syllabus or home now home is the same as this is all our post and you can see that they're all automatically ordered chronologically anyway uh, go ahead and uh, make make your example site look similar to this and uh, we'll be talking a little bit so you can see that we've done the same thing uh, in your previous assignment you should have done this in Google Sites and you can see how they're how they're pretty similar but it's, it's a little bit different depending on the tool that you want to use like this one they're up here or if you have a different template uh, it will be a little bit different but you can kind of see them both cases we're creating kind of this hierarchical structure we're just putting content on the web that you could potentially use for a class.